a couple weeks ago, I went through a full thickness cornea transplant surgery. And in the build up to the surgery, I was nervous. I was anxious and it was basically because I didn't know what to expect. Will I be able to see things? You know, all that stuff. So I was just like looking and all I found was an idiot's guide to a keratoplasty. It was very much a matter of fact, this is how the surgery is done. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make this for anyone that potentially is waiting for the surgery and to, you know, alleviate some of their concerns. So let's get into it. So the day of the surgery, um, first step was eye drops, which would numb the surface of the eye. Now these ones actually sting and it felt like salt water when it gets into your eye. It wasn't uh, nice, it stung, it was difficult to open my eye for about 30 seconds after getting the, the first drop and then the nurse is there waiting to put the second drop in and she somehow managed to do it in between my half blinks. So <laughs> that happened and then uh, I walk into the operating theatre about 10 minutes later and there is the consultant surgeon who I met on my first uh, appointment at this surgery six weeks earlier and also the operating surgeon and he I met a week earlier because I thought I was getting an eye infection a week before the surgery and he tried to flip my eyelid to look underneath and it turned out to be dry eyes no eye infection but he quickly learned I'm a flincher right so he's there very much coaching me do not flinch your face relax your face we can numb your eye we can't numb your face basically uh, when he saw me at the appointment I squeezed my cheeks and my forehead down and he made it difficult for him so he didn't want me doing this today so I <laughs> I uh it's like okay relax my face relax my face I'm just constantly telling myself relax your face do not move and the next thing that happens is they inject an anesthetic into your eye through your eyelid so it took three three of these injections for my eye to go to the level of numbness they wanted but basically I won't move so they kept saying look left look right and then after the third injection my eye is not moving now so they're like okay so they cover my face and the, the slits left here for the eye that's being operated on and they said to me keep your other eye open underneath everything and uh, relax your face. So I then go into the um, operating machine, the laser machine, um, essentially. So it's the one that cuts your my, like my cornea out. And this one is like a dark tunnel. And I just see this light of a circle and it just comes towards me and the, I can hear the consultant surgeon coaching me, do not move, relax your face. And it's like this, it just comes and then it reverses back out so that's the the cut out and then they walk me over gently to the bench where the stitching is going to happen and the placing of the new cornea and um yeah here now the the stitching begins and i can kind of see but i'm not sure whether it's this eye seeing through the fabric or it's how this eye is seeing because I can see the needle that's threading the sutures and I can also see the thread coming up and down. Um, so I'm not sure what, what that was, whether it was my eye or that's being operated on or the other one, but it was as if I was looking through a black cloth. But the cloth that covered my face was blue, so like a light blue, so I'm not sure exactly, but that's all I saw. Now. There is a point in the surgery, about 20 minutes in, where I start to feel like a chalkboard effect going through my eyes. Uh, you know when you scratch a chalkboard, it's like that weird vibration almost. So that's the threading coming in and out. And I say to the surgeon, I can feel it. So they request some more eye drops, they go in, it goes away. I also noticed in my attempts to not move, I have tensed my entire body. This is about 35 minutes in probably, I realise. So I relax my body. That's when I also realise I've been sweating like crazy. Um, in the fact that my whole body was tensed. 
Anyway, 10 minutes after that initial eye drop situation, it happens again. I start feeling that chalkboard effect again and I say to him, I can feel it. So he gets more eye drops and then he says, only five minutes left, you're doing well. And then I feel them putting the, the contact lens on me and I see the contact lens come towards me. And this is like a bandage contact lens. Then they close my eye, bandage it up, and then they just say, you know, surgery went well. Ah, oh, no, I missed a step, actually. They did also inject before they put the bandage contact lens on. An injection went in again, and they said to me, it's an antibiotic, and I'm going to feel uncomfortable with this one. This one came in, and it did feel like pressure almost building into my eye. That's the only way I describe it. And that's also how the anesthetic injection felt when that went in. Um, you feel like a big amount of pressure building up in your eye. It's uncomfortable, but it's not majorly painful. And then, um, yeah, I then come back the next day after the surgery. Um, I've been on ibuprofen the, the previous night, and I haven't felt any pain, to be honest. Um, apart from when I first got home from the surgery, and that was, I think, the anaesthetic wearing off. The ibuprofen killed that pain. So definitely take the the painkillers and yeah the next day they remove the bandage and light sensitivity just kills me straight away but he investigates the eye he's happy with it it's looking good and now i just have to take the steroid antibiotics no the steroid eye drops every two hours, followed by antibiotic eye drops 15 minutes later. And then I also have these artificial tears 15 minutes later, because I've got the dry eye going on. Yeah, the recovery process is just basically every two hours you're doing this cycle of eye drops. Um, I then see him again three days later. He's still happy with it. The bandage contact lens is still in there, but I'm waking up with bruised eyes every morning. And I remember the first day I woke up with that um, bruised eyelid and um, wasn't a bruised eyelid it was just inflamed uh, and red eyes I whatsapped that over to the doctor and he was just like that's fine it's because you haven't had the eye drops overnight uh, just carry on with those it'll clear up and then yeah as the days went on I was waking up with the clearer eye um, not so red um, then it was on day seven where they removed the contact lens the bandage contact lens and antibiotic eye drops were put in and I had to wait in the surgery for half an hour because when that bandage contact lens comes off it's the first time air is hitting your cornea in about a week it's just watering and it feels cold it's weird not painful though um, and then another week goes by and you're recovering and um, yeah to be honest the pain is never really there, but in that first week, I was getting pinches in my eye, which I think was the stitches pulling. So I'd get this pinch every sort of half an hour or so. Um, and then, yeah, by the when that contact lens comes off, that pinching slows down. And then this week, uh, in week, so like, yeah, seven days plus after surgery, I do feel the occasional weird like tugging on my eye, like a pinching, and that's usually when my eyes are dry, I figured out. So I then just put the artificial tears in. Um, but the recovery's going good. So on the 14 day checkup, the doctor said, it's going well, give it two weeks, then come back unless there's any problems. Um, but it's it's been okay, to be honest. The pain was more in my mind before the surgery than it was during and then even the recovery after was very good um, each person is going to be different though um, despite what I've read on the message boards with other people that have gone through it some have more bruising on the eye almost others um, the swelling takes longer to go down mine I'm very thankful it's been okay um, but yeah, I mean, I'll do an update anyway. Maybe I'll even do a background to my keratoconus, which was the reason why I needed this. I had a high risk of high drops. So yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Um, I hope this has helped with any questions that you may have had of the surgery that might be coming up. Uh, otherwise, uh, best of luck with 
with your uh, surgery if you're waiting for it and uh, yeah have a good rest of the day